after police vacating Besije's home where he had been held hostage. Today morning, Besije reunited with his protest. Besije, unlike previous episode, he used his armored vehicle where he mounted a speaker to speak to crowds. His movement lasted until the main road where he was intercepted and a scuffle ensued. You can't stop it. We need our water. We need our water. We need our water. Police dispersed the crowds while as a standoff unfolded for several hours. During intervals, he would wave at crowds who were eager to give feedback. We want, I, want to, I, want to call, I want to call upon all Ugandans to wake up. Move up into your food, the move into your tabagas, like Boma Mori, Yabiari Costros and Viva Corridor and Yuba Corridor is okay. In the evening, after thorough engagement with opposition MPs from FDC, Besige agreed to return home. He, however, vowed not to back down. I've been saying this phase, the main purpose of this phase is for everybody to know that they have to get up. That they have to get up and fight for their country. That's the phase we are in. Wake up, wake up. The crisis in the country will not get over unless we intervene and everybody takes part in that intervention. Especially all young people must really warm up. This is the time to warm up. Yes, everybody must warm up to change their country. The Kampala Metropolitan spokesman Patrick Konyango said Besige's attempt was a no fault. It's public order management act. So we blocked him purposely to restore order and to prevent him from going further with what he had planned. Besige was arrested last week on Thursday as he attempted to walk in protest of soaring commodity prices. Adams Mayambala, CTV, PM Edition.